Hello. Today we're going to talk about background radiation. Now, as a quick recap, ionizing radiation can cause harm to humans, and in high enough doses, it can even cause cancer or death. Now, what do we mean when we say radiation dose? Well, the radiation dose is a measure of the risk of harm to your body due to exposure of radiation. And this exposure is a combination of the energy of the dose that you receive, so that's kind of, way of a way of measuring how much of the radiation uh, is actually, you know, colliding with your body, so to speak. But also what's known as the biological effect. Now, you don't need to know the detail of this equation, but I thought it might be interesting to you. Um, the biological effect takes into, into account mostly the fact that alpha radiation is much more damaging to the body than gamma and beta. And anyway, these two combined are make up what's considered your radiation dose. For GCSE, you only need to consider radiation dose. Radiation dose is measured in sieverts. It's important that you remember that unit because you'll be expected to recall it in exams. And for instance, just to give you an idea of the scale of this, a dose of five sieverts to each part of the body is enough to kill 90% of people. On a lighter note, one year of background radiation only makes up 0.0015 sieverts. Now, because it's such a small number, it's very commonly quoted in millisieverts instead, so 1.5 millisieverts. And again, it's important that you remember that one sievert consists of a thousand millisieverts, and obviously one millisievert is one thousandth of a, of a sievert. A couple of other uh, notes to kind of give you a bit of scale for this. Um, the maximum additional dose that's allowed in the nuclear industry is 50 millisieverts every year. Um, and having a chest x-ray only gives you an additional dose of 0.3 millisieverts. So roughly a fifth of your annual background radiation. Okay, what is background radiation? Well, it's, it's low-level radiation that's found everywhere all the time. So you're exposed to it constantly, it's pervasive. There are many sources I'd just like to, re to reiterate at this point that background radiation only makes up 1.5 millisieverts of a dose per year. So it is very low level. It comes from a number of sources, including naturally occurring isotopes. Uh, these are found in your food, they're found in rocks, they're found um, in some of the gases in the atmosphere. Um, for instance, one of the elements commonly found in food uh, is potassium. There is a, a radioisotope of potassium, potassium-40, which is radioactive and it's in some of the foods you eat. There's no way of getting around that, um, but it is one of, the, one of the sources of background radiation. Another source is radiation from space, which has the quite cool sounding name of cosmic rays. Okay, maybe not cool, but still very 60s. Um, and these cosmic rays are literally radiation coming from stars and nebulae and supernovas from out in space and reaching us here on, on the surface of the Earth. Now, the atmosphere screens out a lot of this. A lot of this radiation is either deflected by the magnetic field around the Earth or is absorbed by other materials in the atmosphere before it reaches us. But some of it isn't, and that makes up part of our background radiation. The third source we have are man-made sources. So this includes fallout from nuclear weapons use in World War II, but also from nuclear weapon tests. Um, as well as that, there is radiation from nuclear accidents, such as Chernobyl in 1986 in the Ukraine, um, or um, in a much smaller way, um, the Fukushima accident in Japan uh, a few years ago now. But I must stress that the man-made sources make up a very small portion of our background radiation at present. Okay, background radiation depends upon two things for any given person, your location and your occupation. If you lived in the part of the UK that had more granite rocks in the area, well, that those granite rocks can release more radiation on the surface, increasing the background radiation level. This is increased if the granite rocks uh, are emitting radon gas, which itself is a, is a radioisotope and is radioactive. 
Um, in Cornwall, people commonly have uh, radon gas detectors fitted into their homes because as it seeps up from the ground, it can collect in the basements or lower rooms of a house and can quite significantly increase somebody's radiation dose. So, I mean, a, a, except for this sort of unusual circumstance where you have a collection of radon gas, it only contributes a small increase in the background radiation. Another source of increased background radiation would be living at a high altitude. Living at a higher altitude means there is less atmosphere between you and space, therefore fewer of the cosmic rays are screened out before they reach you and you have a slightly higher background radiation dose. And the last thing is your occupation. So. Workers in the nuclear industry have a slightly increased dose. Um, to, to kind of reduce this or to, to account for this, they wear protective clothing. They'll often use um, robotic arms and such so they c come into contact with radioactive sources as little as possible. Um, and it's compulsory for them to wear monitor uh, monitoring badges. These are small pieces of photographic film that get developed periodically every few months or every month um, to see just how much radiation has hit the little badge and from that you can work out how much radiation has probably been the person has been exposed to. Um, radiographers in hospitals, these are the people that take x-rays if you've ever been uh, to get an x-ray in hospital. Radiographers you'll, you'll notice are often wearing lead aprons and whenever they actually take an x-ray, they will themselves have moved behind a lead screen. Um, one, other, one other occupation that has an increased background radiation are miners, because miners spend a lot of time deep underground. Um, this, the, the kind of additional exposure to rocks all around them can increase their, their radiation dose. Well, if you have any questions, don't be, don't be afraid to leave them in the comments or pop and see me at school. Don't forget to take notes on this video and uh, I will see you next lesson.